Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forgecraft Evolved. I'm Max Evolved, and today uh, we're going to continue getting this factory where it needs to go, fill it out a little bit more. But do me a favor, real quick, before we get started, scroll down just a little bit, find that subscribe button, click and make sure it's gray. If it's red, turn it gray. Helps me out a lot, helps me get to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into this episode. So something you're going to notice right away is that I got the, I moved the lithium coil charger up in here. Uh, I figured it was time to kind of get something using lithium and there it is. So I also figured I'm probably not going to use, like I, I don't see a huge reason to automate iron plates or lithium plates or all that kind of stuff because we've already got a... A research pod set up right so I figured I'll just use this extra space for some other things that I'm gonna need you know so that's why this is here I figure it's a, it's a pretty efficient use of all the space and then of course I can build more farther down as we need it but uh I need to kind of get some new things in here I need to I need to expand on some of the stuff and I got a couple things that help me out there so let me show you real quick and this glowing ball of fire is not a phantom this is actually where the uh, ship used to be. I downloaded a mod to get rid of the ship because it was right in the middle of where I wanted to put some of the tier two stuff. So I just got rid of it. And as far as I can tell, we can kind of just go through this area no problem. So hopefully that's not an issue because I want to try to get some of the tier two stuff going over here. Oh, look at that. We got some lithium coming in. Must, we must have hit a vein or something. That's really nice. Really nice to see. And uh, we've got a little bit of stuff going that way, so that's nice too. Uh, I did a couple other changes right up here. Let's go take a look. I reworked how this is all going. You see, I cleared some space out, did a little of this, did a little of that. But uh, I basically got rid of that overflow loop. And I have it set up so that all of the tier 1 materials will now kind of feed to their respective smelting lines. So yeah, I guess we did get a little lithium vein right there. But uh, we still don't have the tier 2 stuff set up just yet. I'm going to need to clear all this stuff out and kind of set that up right over here. But I don't have... <laughs> I, I guess I, I could have the induction plates to get that going. So that's one of the goals. We, you know, we need kind of some automated tier 2 stuff. And I'll show you why. I'll show you the situation we're in over here. And the situation is, is we hit a gold vein. And apparently we hit a gold vein on two separate... Uh, quarries, and I, I'm assuming this hit both sides of the gold vein. Oh, well, I'm over here. Let me grab a little bit of construction paste, set this guy up. I don't remember if I showed this on stream or not, but or on, on the last episode, but you know, just this little, like, 200k coal thing. Uh, three super construction paste grinders, so you know, it's just a nice way to get all that construction paste. We're at 45k. We'll probably need a ton of construction paste, so th that's good to have, but uh, one other thing I want to do, and I might actually do that first. I want to take all of these lines and create a dedicated filter array for it. Because this is not efficient. I guess in theory I could go up again. You know, just have this come all the way up. But you see like this gold is blocking the lithium from getting out. So I would have to take the gold out to get the lithium. And I don't, I, I just don't like that. So what I'm going to do... I may actually stay vertical with it. Um, maybe. I, I want to kind of have each each one of these belts. So, for example, this is the... I don't even know which one this is. Copper. I want to have the copper kind of hitting this. So, this line will come in and merge with the copper. They'll kind of all merge together. And then uh, do the same thing that we're doing here. I don't know why I put this here. It's kind of an arbitrary spot. But I want to have each smelter array have its own output onto a belt. So we're eventually going to have five quarries here. Which will mean five outputs. And we have five belts. So that's all fine and dandy. Um, in terms of getting more uh, quarries online. Well, that's a different story. We haven't really thought that far ahead. So, oh man, do I have enough... How many tiles is this? What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 times, that's 65 tiles. That's way too too far. I think I'm just going to go vertical. I don't see why not, you know? Kind of do something like this for now. 
Or actually, no, I, I, I shouldn't do that. I should have them do what this is doing and output onto its own line. Which means I'm going to need another another set of hoppers, right? Let me think here. Yep, that's what's gonna that's what's gonna mean. And then it's kind of the same thing, right? So this one. Oh geez. I would love to be able to do this in a way where it's all symmetrical, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. And what I mean by that is like I'd love for right here, like see how these are all in a line? All these hoppers right here. I would love for this area to all be in a line as well, but because these are hitting in different spots. I mean, I I guess I could. I, I could, you know, maybe I'll just do that. I could retrofit these to kind of do what I need them to do and just kind of snake around and, and hit where they need to hit and come under belts and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is do this, th this little setup right here. And actually, as I'm saying that, that's a lie. First thing I'm gonna do is show you guys what I got right here. Uh, something we were kind of working towards on the last episode, a chargeable explosive. Now this is a charge level four. I just have it on one little solar panel. And the goal is to blow these guys up right here. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna do it. Make sure I got it on my hot bar. And I wanna get it ideally so that it, it will hit both of these. But I don't know how big of an explosion this is gonna be if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. So, I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to light it, and we're going to see what happens. Shift E to light the fuse. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of come over here. I don't think it's going to be that big. I doubt this is going to hurt us, but I'm hoping it kills both of those. Okay, that was way bigger than I thought. Oh, my God. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Whoops. But, two brain matter. That's pretty huge. <laughs> Okay, so that was kind of sick. All right, let me repair this at least. Oh man, I was not expecting it to be that big. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to just run something over this. I'm going to have to fix this hole. I've been digging out over here, as you can see. Uh, I'm digging this all out to you know a certain height, not too high, because I still need somewhere to run all of the tier 2 ores through. And... You know, I may end up having to kind of move this macerator setup. So, but now that we got some brain matter, now we got that, we can make the uh, the hive mind agitator and, and get our resin farm going. But I think first things first, I need to handle this output. And then once that output's handled, I need somewhere for it to go. So first things first, I'm going to go and designate the spot over there. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to kind of redo the way this is set up. So I will meet you guys right over there. So from a logistical standpoint, I think it makes sense just to have this right in line with the other ones. So I've got three induction chargers and I know, well, at least I think I know where the, they go. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. Well, actually let's, let's expose this. Because we will need to get down there. Okay, so the first one's right there. So one, two, three. And then here's one, two, three, four. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, is this the fifth one here? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we got that. One, two, three. Oh, that's going to be unfortunate. One, two, three, and then it's going to be, of course, <laughs> right here. All right, so I'm going to dig these out, put the induction chargers. This is going to kind of suck. I'm going to have to uh, super dig this out, but I'll get that down. I don't know, actually, if I have... Oh, I have three smelters over here. Okay, I can at least use these smelters. I was going to say, I don't know how many smelters I actually have. Um... I guess we could, I mean, we could make more. That's, oh, I got, I got plenty of smelters. I have 18 smelters. Okay. Nice. Actually, that's, that's too many smelters. So let me clear out this hole 
And then I'll give you guys a little refresher on how we're powering up because I don't. That, that was kind of a while ago when we first set this up. So uh, it'll be nice to see that once it's all done. But let me get this dug out first. So these smelting arrays are powered by something. I mean, it's pretty basic. I think they've all got six generators on them, which I could end up doing more if I really need to. You know, I could do a second line that kind of runs down here and throws a, a generator in each open spot here. But the uh, it's pretty much just I go like this, just like that. And I, I put the six generators on and then I... I'll throw down the uh, hoppers, kind of right in the middle, like so. And then I just grab the conveyor belts, and I do that. And then it just kind of feeds it all the way down. So pretty easy, you know. Nothing groundbreaking there. So I'm going to finish getting these all set up, and then uh, I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we want to do our intake area minimum, right? Because at, at, at the end, at the end of the day, we need to at least collect all this stuff, right? So uh, these will turn on sharing, but I don't necessarily want to throw down a whole like bunch of smelters, right? So maybe, maybe just three. For now, I mean, I guess I could throw them all down. I, I have enough. You know what? I'll just throw them all down. Why not, right? It's easier to just figure it all out after the fact. And then why is everything off? Because I did it all wrong. All right, let me fix this. <laughs> all right, so we got that all set up now. Now, I am I think for now, I'm just going to run the belts for them to, uh, to feed in. But, you know, we're going to have to do this whole thing where we... We're gonna have to extend all this out and, you know, kind of get uh, all these belts spaced out and run. And look at how pretty, you know, we're gonna have to, again, expand out all this way and kind of fill this in with, with path, you know, like just kind of run it like that. I don't want to necessarily, I, I don't want to use all of my construction base if I don't have to, you know, so I can do something like that. And then just, just you know, stuff like that. And then we're going to have to rethink how we kind of like where this is. And this might be the opportunity I'm looking for to kind of change some of this up, right? So I think first things first, I'm going to kind of redo this belt work, kind of clean it up a little bit and have this be a little bit more elegant as well as adding in all these filters, you know, because I don't, at the end of the day, I don't want these filters to take up a ton of space, but they probably still will. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick to you. Yeah, it won't look like anything to you, but trust me, it'll be happening. And then uh, I will see you kind of once we've got that done and we can kind of work on uh, belting some of this up. Okay, so I kind of just tore everything apart. I figured it might be a little bit easier to just show exactly what I mean and kind of what my plan is with, with this little stack right here. But I realize I have to account for the spacing of this stuff, right? And so I, I you know, I gotta put that stuff down because that will help me do all the other things, right? And this should all hopefully become very clear very shortly about how this is gonna work. Now, this spacing that you see it shouldn't be a problem uh, and because the, the I think the solution or the answer is to go vertical right now this part will be the same right so I'm just gonna do this we're gonna line that up like that and we're gonna throw something on there and then effectively this first line right here will be getting all of the copper output from this guy right here this first level and this first level will only be slated for this uh, the farthest quarry right so that quarry way out there will output and have its own dedicated filter setup so this this line right here all of that that's just gonna stop you know what I mean all these are gonna stop so now, the next thing we're going to have to do 
Now I'm still I'm still having all of these share. I may turn that off. I don't know. We'll see. But so for the next one, now these are all set, right? These are all copper ores. These are all everything except copper ore, right? So if we just throw this guy on here, and we're gonna do the same thing, right? So in reality, it's just five of those. We're just gonna kind of do that, right? Just, of course. So just like that, five rows. But then what's gonna happen is that I guess I'm gonna have to put kind of some something like decorative, right? Uh, maybe this, this, kind of like that, right? And then we're just gonna do that, and then like that, and then really what I'm gonna have to do is this. Uh. I think like that, I think that adds up, right? Because then we do this number, we come over here and we just bring it all home and we have that, but now we got to, we got to lower, right? So the plan to lower is just this, right? So hopefully this is making a little bit of sense. I'm kind of coming up with this on the fly. So definitely let me know what you guys think about this. Cause again, I'm just, I'm just assuming and hoping this works. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but you know, it is what it is. And just like that, I mean, I think it's kind of a cool design. It, it definitely is going to save me a lot of space. And I, I think it's going to look kind of sick to have all of these kind of kind of emerging from behind the uh like all the belts like it's just gonna kind of be like a little cascade you know oh god did not want to do that always something you know how about we pick the right one i'll just i'll just set ourselves up right here and so yeah so that's kind of this is kind of what I'm planning. And then the other like nice little side effect of this is now I can just do that, you know? For these guys, I'm just gonna have them go right over, kind of come down and just snake in. Now these are these are just kind of like supplemental lines that are feeding, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll actually have them come over a little bit. And maybe, well, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll hook that stuff up later. I'm not super concerned right this second. Because I want to get all these hooked up, you know? So that's kind of the plan. I just got to build these little truss setups. But yeah, I, I think it's going to look pretty, pretty sick, honestly. So I'm going to finish this up real quick. But then I'll bring you guys back in kind of once we have it all done. And you can kind of see, you know, this thing in all of its majesty. So here you can kind of see the uh, this thing in all of its glory, all of its majesty. It's obviously not hooked up yet, but I just want to give it kind of a sense of kind of how it's all going to look when it's done. I'll probably finish this off camera, and uh, when you guys next see this this video, I'm going to kind of have this all reimagined. But I, I think I'm going to make this a quick one, kind of, you know, have something come out and kind of show you guys the future. We got to blow some stuff up, so that was kind of cool, but there's a lot of little work that needs to go on in, that's kind of tedious, that needs to happen in between episodes, so I think I'm gonna call it here, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we kind of came up with this design. I think it's gonna look kind of cool, especially when it's all running and all going crazy, and then, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you got any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I'm always open. I You know, I read all the comments, so uh, even if I don't respond, I'm still reading and, and taking some of the advice you guys give me and using it to make this world better. So again, guys, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.